room in hell. The dead will walk here. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that refuse to be censored. This would sharpen you up and make you ready for a bit of the old ultraviolence. For this list, we'll be looking at the most notable films that opted not to be altered, preferring to be released in their uncut states. What do you make of movie censorship? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Dawn of the Dead. Often considered one of the best and most influential zombie movies ever made, Dawn of the Dead has its fair share of flesh eating. I've seen half a dozen guys get bitten by those things. None of them lasted more than three days. And it is not pretty. The Motion Picture Association gave the movie an X rating, which was reserved for the most unsuitable films and was the 70s equivalent of an NC-17. Every dead body that is not exterminated becomes one of them. It gets up and kills. Even though some big movies were released under the X banner, it was still considered a death blow to box office success, and many studios re-edited their films to attain an R. George A. Romero chose not to do this and didn't take the X rating. Instead, Dawn of the Dead got an unrated release under the United Film Distribution Company. You must not be lulled by the concept that these are our family members or our friends. They are not. They will not respond to such emotions. Number 9. Purity we're going all the way back to 1916 for Ray Berger's Purity. The silent film features Audrey Munson, who is often given the title of America's first supermodel. Wherever you go in New York, Audrey Munson's watching you because she was the model of choice, the artist model of choice, in, from 1910 to 1915, really, when a lot of New York was built and she appears nude in it. Back then, the Motion Picture Association didn't exist. Instead, the movie industry was overseen by the National Board of Review. They recommended that 10 cuts be made from purity, many of which involved nudity. Audrey is the first woman to take all her clothes off in a motion picture. She did it in 1915. The results were sporadic, as local film censors chose whether or not to follow the NBR's guidelines. Some states refused to edit the movie and simply banned it outright. Others ignored the recommendations altogether and released it without any alterations. In the 19 teens, Audrey heads west. She decides to capitalize on her fame, nationwide fame, to get a new Hollywood career. Number eight, Showgirls. Paul Verhoeven's Showgirls isn't everyone's cup of tea. It's quite infamous for its graphic depictions of showgirl culture and was given the dreaded NC-17 rating as a result. And I don't know what it is you're good at, but if it's at the cheetah, it's not dancing, I know that much. Like the X of old, studios typically re-edit their films to avoid this, as major theaters often won't carry movies with the rating. Showgirls didn't follow this trend, and was released as is anyway. You're gonna make a lot of money for the stardust. This was a history-making movie, as no other major Hollywood film had ever gone to theaters nationwide with an NC-17 rating. Funnily enough, it was later censored for home video, with some rental stores like Blockbuster carrying a modified version that was rated R. What do you want? Um, burger, fries, and soda. Get us some brown rice, vegetables, and a bottle of Evian. Number 7, A Clockwork Orange. While it's now considered a classic, Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange received many poor reviews and was met with widespread controversy. Oh? And what's so stinking about it? It was initially released in America in its uncut state with an X rating. However, Kubrick later censored it for re-release, modifying about 30 seconds of the work. The United Kingdom also first saw the movie in its original form. However, distribution was soon stopped altogether after it was thought to have been linked to real-world violence. What we were after now was the old surprise visit. That was a real kick, and good for laughs and lashings of the old ultra-violent. In other countries, A Clockwork Orange wasn't censored and was banned as a result. This is what happened in Ireland, where the film wasn't seen for nearly 30 years. It was finally released in its uncensored state there in March 2000. We tried to help you. We followed recommendations which were made to us that turned out to be wrong. Number 6. A Serbian Film There are disturbing movies, and then there's a Serbian film. <laughs> A highly notorious piece of work, it has garnered all sorts of negative attention for its perturbing and inappropriate content. Countries including Australia and New Zealand even banned it. A Serbian film also faced difficulty on the festival circuit.
It was scheduled to be played at London's Film 4 Fright Fest in August 2010, but over four minutes of footage needed to be cut. Deciding against this, the movie was simply not shown at the event. The Raindance Film Festival later showed the full version, but advertised the event as private in order to circumvent the ban. <laughs> Number 5. Scarface Before Al Pacino and his famous Cuban accent, there was Howard Hawks' iconic original. Scarface was met with widespread condemnation by the censors, who felt that the story promoted criminality. Face the wall! Put your mitts up! All of you! Major changes were required that significantly altered the tone of the film. One of these was a new ending. Don't shoot! Don't shoot, Gardino! Look at Gardino, I'm all over that. I got no gun, see? Uh, give me a break, will you, Gardino? Most of the adjustments were reluctantly made, but producer Howard Hughes directly battled the powers that be on a few occasions. He screened one version of the movie for the press in New York, despite it having been rejected by the state censors, and he later released it with the original ending intact. Hughes also publicly condemned the modified cut, and even challenged various censorship boards legally. Number 4. Eternals This film contains the first openly gay superhero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Yeah. Incredibly natural, guys. Played by Brian Tyree Henry, the tech genius Fastos has a husband named Ben. While this type of inclusion was praised in many places, it was the subject of significant contention in others. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea helping them advance, Fastos. Technology is a part of their evolutionary process, Druid. It's not exactly something that I can stop. Various countries, including Saudi Arabia and Oman, banned the film as a result of the same-sex relationship. According to actors Angelina Jolie and Haas Slayman, who portrays Ben, Marvel refused to censor the movie for those countries and accepted the bans instead. However, one of the scenes cut for the Indonesian release was a kiss between Fastos and Ben. When you say goodbye. Number 3. The Birth of a Nation this silent drama generated fierce outrage in regards to its racist ideology, alternate portrayal of American history, and horrible imagery. The NAACP and many black Americans attempted to get the movie banned, believing that it would encourage racial violence. However, review boards typically didn't listen, and it was neither banned nor censored in most places. In fact, when the film was re-released for a second run, it included a title card that stated, We do not fear censorship. Regardless of the controversy, The Birth of a Nation did well. It was the highest grossing movie of its day, and was eventually included in the National Film Registry. Number 2. Victim this revolutionary film from the early 60s defied the era's conservative views of sexuality. Well, there was nothing wrong with that, huh? Of course not. But there was a time when that was against the law, you know. As a result, it faced a lot of trouble with various film censors. The story follows Melville Farr, a lawyer who battles blackmailers targeting gay men. The British Board of Film Censors gave the movie an X rating, even after the recommended edits were made. I don't know it happened that way. It couldn't have happened any other way. Gay fit? I don't like to think about it, old mate. It was met with similar contempt in the United States, with the Motion Picture Association's Production Code Administration effectively banning the film. However, the distributor outright defied this ban, claiming that they would release the movie anyway. Victim was indeed released on February 5, 1962, when it premiered in New York. I'm glad we've got them. It seems tragic that your career has to go west in the game. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Schindler's List while regarded as a masterpiece of cinema, Schindler's List was nevertheless met with some controversy, specifically in the Philippines, where the issue went straight to the president. You made good. Promise me he'll put in a good word for you. Nothing bad is going to happen to you there. You'll receive special treatment. The dispute was over scenes involving intimacy and nudity, with the country's chief censor demanding about 30 seconds worth of cuts. Director Steven Spielberg vehemently refused to make these changes, and insisted that the movie be removed from theaters rather than censored. It's Hebrew from the Talmud. It says, whoever saves one life saves the world entire. 
The premiere was briefly delayed as a result. This all ultimately led to a response from the then president of the Philippines, Fidel Ramos. He defied the censorship board and claimed that anyone 15 and older could watch the film in its full, creatively intended state. That's power, Amon. That is power. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.